Hey guys! Hey my beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel and if you are new up in here it's really nice to meet you make sure to subscribe because if you do not subscribe to this channel the boogeyman is coming to get you boogeyman in the house i'm sorry the boogeyman is coming to get you just just conform click on that subscribe button click and then don't forget to click on the bell you know the bell ding 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 because every time i post a new video that ding 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 is gonna come up to you all your emails and go ding 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 what has posted hello hello ding 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 go watch Karabo's new video why in Karabo? let me see you ride Karabo. doctor says gonna grind Karabo. yeah yeah this video, as you can tell from the title, is about open relationship rules. So I'm sure a lot of you watched the video that I did the other day, which was called Never Have I Ever. And basically, one of the questions that I actually answered was, have I ever been in an open relationship? And I actually haven't. However, I genuinely would love to be in an open relationship. Yeah! Why? Because I feel like that's the kind of person I am right now. And low-key, I feel like a lot of you and a lot of people out there right now. Hence why there's so much cheating in this world that's going on. <laughs> and a lot of marriages that are breaking. I feel like if there was open relationship, then maybe people would be getting divorced and shit. But obviously, a lot of people get divorced of other big issues like financial... I don't know, um, just being treated badly or all that kind of shit. But I feel like a lot of us deep down, when you start getting, I don't know, bored or something, maybe people start getting bored and people want to actually like try different things with other people. And also as well, you're a human. When you, you will be attracted to other people that you see out there and you want to, you'll be intrigued to, you know, try out certain things and obviously if your partner for example doesn't want to try different things for example with me the other time i went to amsterdam and i really would have loved to go to a swingers club but i'm very sure the person that i was with didn't want to do that so i didn't do that because that person wasn't into it but you get my point so my point is there'll be times when you you are in a relationship and you want to try some of these exotic things but your partner doesn't want to do it because they're too scared which in turn will probably make you want to step out of your relationship or marriage to go try these new different things but i feel like open relationships only work with rules because i feel like as humans like i said emotions get in the fucking way hence why some of my rules i feel like would somehow i don't know how to be honest because i need to try this out myself so maybe I'm going to read these things out and then one day, maybe I should seek out an open relationship and see if it actually works. But then I feel like you can't, try, I can't just try it because if I have an open relationship, I actually have to try it with someone I genuinely do love. You know what I mean? I'll start off with the definition of what an open relationship basically is. So let's begin. So an open relationship is one in which two people in an ongoing relationship aren't exclusive with one another in other words both parties in the relationship are openly allowed to be able to have other sexual and slash or romantic partners however with my rules we are not doing romantic partners because i feel like that's when shit just goes all the way wrong i still want to be the love of your life period period shit niggas want everything and i bet you'll be men they'll be doing the most in this open relationship hence why i have rules and if you break them we are actually breaking up like i'm, I'm not taking bullshit because the fact that i've given you such a beautiful leeway and you still are not appreciative i don't want it no ma'am as soon as i heard romantic that shit just woof um so and while non-monogamy is a fundamental characteristic there are different types of open relationships such as those in which both you and your partner engage in physical and slash or romantic relationships with other people or just one of you does. I feel like in this day and age, it, I don't think it'll be one of us that wants to be going open and shit because I feel like the other person will be feeling some type of way at some point. I'm sorry, if I had a partner and I allowed him to, do, to be in an open relationship by himself, 
I'd feel lonely when he's gone because now I know he's going to do something. Do you, you get what I mean? Like, open relationship rules. Let's begin. Number one, no intimate activities as in romantical activities. Don't be going out to fucking dates that are fun. Like, if you can go out to eat, but don't go out to eat knowing the fact that this is a romantical kind of situation. And you know what I mean? I don't have to explain it. Because some people be doing the most that like, they're like, ah, oh, we just went out for a meal. No, you went out for a meal knowing the fact that you're going on a date. This is not, you must not be on a date. None of that crap. Because the minute that happens, that means one of you is liking one another somewhere. I don't know who it is. I don't want to know who it is. But I know it better not be my main partner. Because if it is, we're going to end this relationship. Honestly, I'm telling you, if any of these rules are broken, there is actually just no point. Unless we actually genuinely want to fix it and we end up fixing it in the end. However, if this person, you know, so you can just sense when somebody's just doing things. And they're probably in love with this person. Just end it. Because it's not going to end well. Because already you're in a situation that's already risky. Do you get what I mean? So you need to be very firm with your rules. And actually stick to them. Because if you don't, you'll be absolutely hurt. Number two. Never deny you're in a relationship slash marriage with your main spouse. Let's say, for example, if I'm married to my spouse, then I decide to go out um, and seek a sexual partner to have sex with you know that sexual partner asks me are you married or are you in a relationship i cannot deny that because one day that person's gonna find out and if it word gets back to my husband or relationship partner at that time and he finds out that that person was like oh you told me you were in a relationship that's a no 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 ma'am no ma'am like i said I hate messy things and if anything should happen I know and my partner knows so that when that bitch comes to try to chat shit me and him both will be like yeah we know please please I don't have any time for any gossip now okay. eh? yes you know what I mean that kind of relationship partners kind of got your back right or die baby me and my boyfriend rule number three don't sleep with someone from the past <laughs> This one is this one. You guys used to have emotional attachments to each other. Why are you repeating sex? If you're repeating sex, that means you really, really enjoyed it and you want to see each other again. No! No! Ma'am. However, it is kind of, now that I think about this, it's low-key kind of scary because it's like, oh, that means we'll all be having different sexual partners. But hey, it's the rules. Don't beat me. Like, I feel like the minute you start letting people have sex with the same person, I feel like emotions will come up and especially historical partners sitting there after your sex on the bed or high and like emotional and shit after that good sex and you just be thinking them reminiscing oh remember then one of you will be fucking idiot and say oh we should try it again like no no he's mine i'm sounding psycho right now well number four only sleep with someone once to avoid attachment i've already said this on the rule number three you, attachment that's the scariest part about you know open relationships and i keep repeating this again imagine you have you have sex with just one person one time and you guys and you find out that's your soulmate <laughs> hubby husband scary it's very very scary and that's on period rule number five all ex-boyfriends and ex-girlfriends are off the table again going back to rule number three and rule number four all historical partners just attachment it just screams attachment you never know some idiotic person between the both of you might end up saying dumb shit like oh we should get back together we should try these we should see oh we messed up like no no we are not together for a reason let's not go back let's not reminisce let's just have sex you go away that's it okay I have a husband at home i have to go back to you okay, okay. rule number six never lie under any circumstance again common sense so like i said with the situation where like if a, if a girl comes to your man and says oh she's done this all a man comes to my husband and says oh i was with your girl last night He'll be like, yeah, I know. The other person will now look stupid, but because we are together, we'll look like a unit. So if you lie about sleeping with 
your ex that you slept with your ex once whilst you were in this open relationship i'm telling you i'm not going to be happy when i find out we will, i will actually break everything off we'll break up like unless you do some sort of magic and make me go back to you and you're actually serious but i feel like once the open relationship trust has been fucked up i feel like it has to end now we have to just be a normal relationship because you can't be trusted because you were i gave you leeway for to do what you wanted to do and experience certain things that you probably didn't or couldn't do with me and now you're doing this like the fuck where who no ma'am what i'm saying is people just need to stay committed until it doesn't work pros and cons of open relationships i'm gonna be looking down here again because i brought my shit down up here okay so i need to look at them an open relationship is obviously based on honesty can and, and respect right however you might become jealous i mean it's understandable and in fact it is quite uncommon for those in an open relationship to be a bit threatened or intimidated by the different partners or the different people that your partner may pursue jealousy can also happen in a normal you know normal relationship right and that's already hard as it is so imagine when you're in an open relationship your jealousy will be 10 times worse one of the other cons is that it isn't a quick fix to a failing relationship if you don't have strong foundation with that person just don't even bother even going for the swingers club because you're obviously going to be thinking your partner is doing the most so if you have a strong foundation and you and that and you and your partner slash marry a uh, husband you know that we got our shit together and i want you you want me and that's all it is you just want to have fun if you have a strong foundation like that shit may not go as wrong if your relationship is failing and you're going you're trying to do open relationship thinking it's gonna work that's just opening a whole type of wound like y'all are not gonna work unless you have a strong foundation because so you might feel physically and emotionally vulnerable the minute you start feeling like you are not enough absolutely leave because it has gone too far and you're clearly not the same anymore and also for you to get that feeling it's going to take a long time for you to fix that feeling that you feel like you're not enough because for you to stop feeling like that you're both gonna have to stop this um open relationship and your partner might not want to stop it so just either leave it or if your partner is willing to stop it then you guys can work things out so you just got to be careful the pros of open relationships if you don't want to be in just a normal relationship the thing is with open relationships you can generally bring your own rules to it make it even more fun exciting or just boring if you want and you get yourself an open relationship darling and you experience the world you can still have a meaningful and long-lasting connection with a significant other and also be fucking other people basically like if you start making rules you should stick to them because if you don't stick to them that's when shit just goes yeah just like, yeah another appealing characteristic of this kind of relationship is that it grants you and your partner the freedom to pursue other people in ways that's based on a uh, mutual respect um open communication and total honesty and so i said again it, it y'all need to build from a strong situation because if it's not strong between the two of you first trouble trouble the water just bring it up why don't you why don't you let it <clears throat> anyway like i was saying while you still have strong feelings for your mate you're able to have different needs met or different people all while being completely truthful and open with one another like over communicate is very important if you don't and something comes out and you feel some type of way um another intriguing um component of an open relationship is simply that the excitement of it all and the thrill and the sense of adventure that you can you, you can actually bring to yourself yourself and also your partner because to be fair you guys can also go to swinger clubs and try these things you know and do the most like you can both or you can both decide to do open relationship with other different people together do you get what i mean like there's a lot you can do intimacy levels have dwindled down all the way all the way down an open relationship allows you to pursue other options while continuing to have the deep bond that you've created with one another do you get what i mean like it's just it's really nice you know it's nice but you guys need to follow the rules this chit chat has been the most i i can tell okay but 
let me know what you guys think about this open relationship let's start talking with you guys whether i agree with it or disagree with it i really look forward to the next chit chat with you guys so thank you so much have a lovely day wine carabo let me see you ride carabo doctor says gonna grind carabo